Virtual Drumline is basically just a, um, what they call a sound library or a sample library, or sometimes it's called a virtual instruments. Um, it's using all live recorded sampled sounds of real instruments being performed by humans. And because they're real samples of real instruments, um, they don't sound so much like a computer is, is generating them. So I wanted to create Virtual Drumline because I needed that as a, as a writer. I was writing for drum corps a lot at the time and there, there just wasn't really anything like that. I was getting really into samples for some of the commercial music I was doing, but to write full percussion ensemble music, it just wasn't there, so I, I made it. And so Virtual Drumline, you sampled everything like yeah. how to, uh, <laughs> I mean I don't I can't even begin to think like how you organize your roles for marimba like yeah. did you have a variety of different mallets and your forte is with like a different kind of harder mallet or is it all with the same mallet how deep did you go with those sorts of options Yeah we went we went really deep uh, with a number of options um, Velocity is really important. It's, it's not just going to make a note louder or softer. It, it's going to affect the timbre of the sound that you're creating. So we recorded the, the drum line or the tambourine or the triangle or the timpani, whatever it was. We recorded that at a piano level and a fortissimo level and, and everything in between. And then those different samples are programmed into its velocity sensitivity. So if you strike the key more softly, you'll actually get the sample of a softer hit being being performed. Um, we also did right hand hits and left hand hits because you can actually hear that if you're a drummer you can hear very very slightly you can hear the difference between a right and a left hand if it's a paradiddle or a, a double stroke roll I mean that's very easy to hear for a drummer. If we didn't do that it would just sound like one pitch repeated over and over really quickly they call that the machine gun effect. So um, having having the control over right and left hands is really important and that means right and left hands on the drum on the rims, rim shots, um, uh, you know, on the, on the marimba, all of those things had to be sampled. So there's thousands, tens of thousands of samples in the library that all got programmed and comprised these instruments. So who was the performer on most of those samples? <laughs> uh, it, it's a variety of people. I'm, I'm doing a lot of them. The, uh, the overplayed timpani rolls are probably me. <laughs> uh, to me, that's just the coolest part of almost all of this. I mean, that stuff is cool, but also how you created the sample library is just so insane. Yeah, to me. I wish we would have captured footage of that process because it's, you know, we just weren't thinking to do that back then, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool, like it's, the it's amount of detail amazing. that went into the recordings. And, and there's so many considerations like what. Marimba are you choosing? Yeah, you know, well that's the thing. Amount. We have a rosewood marimba and we have a synthetic bar marimba because a lot of our users actually work for high schools and they don't have rosewood marimbas. So if they want it to sound more like what their marimba is going to actually sound like, they can use a synthetic marimba. And we also recorded uh, hard mallets, medium mallets, and soft mallets for all of those things. Um, so that includes not just the hits, but the rolls. Um, you know, for marimba, for xylophone, for vibraphone, for timpani, for crotales, glockenspiel. Um, and those instruments that ring for a long time, like a vibraphone, it's like just to get one sample, you let the bar ring its entire duration until it completely decays. So those were some really long-winded recording sessions. <laughs> we recorded it in a variety of places. So that's one of the things that makes the, the library sound really raw and gritty, which frankly is one of its strong points. It doesn't sound ultra produced like it came out of a Hollywood studio. We recorded it in band rooms when we were on tour with Vanguard in 2004. Um, we recorded a bunch of stuff at Pearl, the uh, drum company in, in Nashville. I recorded a bunch of it in my basement, um, the drum set stuff, the bells. Um, we went to the Memphis drum shop where my friend Donnie was, he was friends with the owner of the drum shop and it's this really cool big drum shop in Memphis and they once they closed down, they let us stay overnight and just go to town and just use all the instruments in the shop. And they had a little clinic stage where we just basically performed every, you know, every cowbell, every cymbal we could find. And um, just, you know, we were like kids in a candy store. We pulled an all-nighter and just recorded as much as we possibly could. 